Hey guys, this is Aaron from Geek Lemon Development and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to set your application into landscape. Now this is very good if you're creating games and well, most games out now already are set into landscape so it's quite a good feature and it's, it gives you a better feel to the game when you're playing it. So I'm going to show you how to do it now. So if you go into Xcode, File, New Project, Make sure to view paste application for the iPhone. I'll name this landscape. Save that. Let's wait for it to load up. It's very, very simple and very easy to do. So if you go to, uh, well, first start off, if you go to uh, resources and into the P list, just click on the very last um, bar thingy and click on the plus sign on the far right. And we're going to want to find the initial interface orientation. So just find it here. And click on the options over here. And depend on how you want to set it. So landscape with the home button to the left. Or the landscape with the home button to the right. I would simply go for the top one here. Landscape. Home button is going to be to the left. So save that now. That's all that's needed to be done in the P list. And then... What we're going to do now is go into our view, and for every every view that you want in landscape, you will have to do this too. Or if so, any of them, if you want in portrait, you just leave them how they are. So if you just scroll down to the override to allow orientations here, and we just I'll just zoom in for you, just uncomment it. And then what you've noticed that this has stuck. Well, is not green no more, and it's. Interface orientation portrait. We want to get rid of the portrait and type in landscape. Now we set the home button to the left, so it's landscape left and save that. And that's all that's needed to be done to set that current view, or well, it's our main view at the moment, that view to in landscape. If you have any extra views, you just simply do that again to all the other views that you want in landscape and it should work. So if we go to build and run. The iPhone simulator should, once it's loaded up, it should just all of a sudden turn more well, into landscape. So it's loaded now. It should automatically flip into landscape mode now. Let's give it time to load. And there we go. Now, very very simple to do. Now I'll show you how to how you're going to build in landscape mode. So if we go into our resources into the landscape view controller.new now building is also very simple in landscape mode because just wait for it to load up all you want at the moment it's already saying portrait but the, all you have to do is simply press this little arrow here and it will flip it into landscape and you just carry on building your project just like that and you can add in labels and rec buttons, text fields. So if I just save that again and build and run just to show you. Loads up. It should automatically flip again. And there we go. It's all just simple as that. So that's it for today. And I hope this helps you in your projects or your tutorials or anything like that. Nice nice way to build your applications and landscape so for now make sure you subscribe comment like make sure you um, follow me on Facebook Twitter all the links will be in the description I also have a few applications out at the moment the link for them on the App Store will be in the description but if you think there's any way I can improve my tutorials or if you just want to request a tutorial just send me a message or leave me a comment on YouTube and um, yeah, so that's it for tonight. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all in the next tutorial.